Okay fellas, we're probably going to have to talk about uh, soda water and gay carbonation. And you're probably going to have to chill your... Um... Now this is soda water. Why they call it soda I don't know, because it's basically just carbonated water. So it's just carbon dioxide pumped through the water. Now, it has a strange property that you probably don't realise. You can actually do this by actually blowing your breath through some water and you'll watch the pH fall. But this stuff, which you they use in your soda cans of course, you don't need that much just to show this. So you've got your, there you go, you got there, see there? All right, now if we put some P, you know, a trusty rusty pH indicator in this, you'll get a surprise because it's quite acid, okay? <laughs> so it's more orange than yellow, and we know yellow is pH of 3, so it's less than 3. So it's, it's stronger than uh, vinegar, basically. So, <laughs> stronger in pH or, pH or acidity, lower in pH or stronger in acidity than uh, even... Uh, so what we're going to do, is we're going to make, make some soda water up here. So, now I don't think this is going to froth over because, you know, if you can, if you can push reductive flammable gas out of the water, what's it going to do? That's why I think you need to chill it, but we'll see. We'll just have a, we'll have a go. If we're going to lose all our things. See, the thing with this, though, you can actually blow bubbles into a glass of water and watch the pH fall. It won't quite get as low as this, but it will get pretty low. It'll get to a nice yellowy green if you do it with your breath. And, and, that's why, and it does it very quickly, too. Whether that's because we've got some sort of catalyst in our uh, in the saliva in our breath sort of thing that's helping the thing along actually gets into the into your breath and into the water, I don't know. Uh, but um, if we do this, so we do it and we pour it in. It looks like we should be able to get away with it if we pour it slowly enough. We're going to fill it up. So now this is going to be like a pH of less than three, and hopefully it's also going to drive reductive flammable gas for the water as well. So we'll put our organism in here and we'll see if it likes the combination and grows better. Now the reason I say that is we're going to move on to gay, bicarb or gay carb as I like to call it, sodium bicarbonate. And we're going to have to talk about, so basically I'll put the lid on this for a while so we keep the bubbles in there and uh, then we'll put organism in. We're going to have to talk about our copper. And we're going to get a few more, another one of these. Because if we get our ammoniated copper, so we get our ammoniated copper here, copper solution. So that's copper. And it's pretty dilute, as you know. But if we get our little, little trusty, rusty spoon here, uh, we get out a bit of gay carb here, sodium bicarbonate, and we put it into here. I think you'll get a surprise because it dissolves and it doesn't fizz because it's an alkaline solution, of course, but it doesn't fall out as the carbonate. Do you see that? That's the important thing with this. And you can put quite a lot in, we can put another spoonful so you can get quite a lot. And still, so we can get quite a lot in there, in there, like that, and it just doesn't fall out as the carbonate. You can leave it for hours and it just won't fall out as the carbonate. So, is this part of the problem with copper? Is plants don't like ammonia because ammonia can make uh, the, the cooper ammonium compound, which is very stable, and therefore it can't fall, it doesn't fall out as the carbonate. Now what's interesting about the carbonate, or I should tell you, uh, there are carbonates of copper. There are two, two basic forms of carbonates of copper. There's an uh, uh, alkaline one, there's also an acid one. What's so important about an acid one? Well, you, uh, the copper carbonate one is so acidic. It's, I think it's more acidic, if I'm not, don't quote me on this one, but it's almost, I think, uh, more acidic than vinegar, and yet it doesn't, doesn't break down and give off the, um, the carbonate. In other words, it doesn't fizz, basically which is strange, so in other words it hangs on to the carbonate even in very acid conditions and you think well what about aquatic plants that need 
so-called carbon dioxide dissolved in the water and bicarbonates and carbonates are so-called dissolved in the water from you know, decaying organic matter and things like that, that they talk about. If it's locked down in a form that can't be put into the water, what does that say? Do the, do the plants just not get their, uh, their, their uh, carbon dioxide that they need to grow? Aha, but it gets even more interesting now. Now we have a combination here of copper and salt. Why is that important? Well, we're going to put a little bit of water in here and hopefully if I can turn the camera around with that cranking your head off now if we can get the tap in there nice I can't see with the bloody screen okay there's the screen now if we get this down hopefully you can see that that blue color of the copper sulfate is changing into a nice a nice lime green color now that lime green color <coughs> fellas is copper chloride. So in, in sorted conditions, copper can easily go and become the chloride. Very, very easily to become the copper chloride. So maybe a little bit more water, because a bit bumpy. So we turn that around and so we can form the nice green. And I'll try to dissolve this. I should have done one earlier, shouldn't I? But uh, you know, salt uh, is not. Uh, the other thing I've noticed with all this uh, polystyrene work is things dissolve so much more easily and so much faster, if that's a combination of phrases, than uh, than in straight water. So that that's so uh, that reductive flammable gas that's being generated almost instantaneously, I would say, through the water. And, and, the, and the properties of these plastics things do have uh, effects on the water that has effects on solutes that, that are going into the water and probably on other organic because you know when you get into pH chemistry you also have pH chemistry which is so much different when you get to organic pH chemistry it's so much more bizarre than you think you think you think you've known you know everything about pH you wait till you get to organic pH chemistry that really will raise a few eye that will raise the old Vulcan Spock eyebrow that will and that really put the cat amongst the Putins. Anyway, I think we've got enough there just to show what I, what I want to try and, what I want to try and demonstrate. If it's going to work, I don't know. Let me 